Hello, have you ever tried making the perfect moist and velvety lemon cake loaf but you have failed many times? Don't worry, this recipe is for you. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the perfect velvety and moist lemon cake loaf without any machine. Just relax and enjoy this video. Let's do this together. First, we make the lemon milk or the buttermilk with 1 over 4 cup of warm milk and 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. This will cause the milk to curdle. Next, in a bowl, we measure out 180 grams of granulated sugar, one and a half tablespoon of lemon zest, one over eight teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. After mixing all this, go ahead and make sure that you use your hand whisk to whisk everything thoroughly, so that the Lemon zest is going to mix with every other thing in the bowl. Once you are done mixing the dry ingredient just as you see, next you add in 200 grams of butter or margarine, whichever one you want to use. Now make sure that you mix this butter with the sugar and other things in the bowl. Cream this very well, cream this thoroughly so that it becomes so creamy, light and fluffy. Once after creaming the butter and the sugar, you go in with the eggs. This is 180 grams of whole eggs. You make sure you add these eggs one at a time. So once you add one, you cream or mix thoroughly before adding the second egg. After the eggs comes in a flour, so you may use all people's flour or cake flour and wh whichever one you are using, make sure that you sift in this flour, don't just add the flour into the buttercream, make sure that you sift in the flour, so I sifted in the, my own flour in two batches, so I sifted the first one, then mixed everything and then sifted in the second batch. After sifting in the second batch of my flour, I poured in or added in the lemon milk or the buttermilk that I made earlier, the first thing that I made while starting this video. Next, I added in my flavorings and food color. I use one teaspoon of vanilla flavor and one teaspoon of mixed zest with a little bit of lemon green food color. But the lemon green color is optional if you don't want. But you know, I wanted to give my cake that lemon 
um, appearance or lemon attraction so that's why i added a little bit of lemon green food color to to increase the appeal of the cake <laughs> so but if you don't want you may skip that next i also added an extra one tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice of which i forgot that my camera didn't get that place so don't forget to add it when you are making this once the cake butter is ready you transfer the cake butter into a, a cake loaf pan lined with a baking paper just as you see in this video and make sure you tap the pan on your work surface to ease out air and to flatten the butter and then you bake simply bake in your preheated oven for up to 60 minutes or thereabout or till your cake is completely baked and the skewer inserted into the cake comes out clean the butter in this cake loaf was almost about 500 grams of butter and i used 7 by 4 inch loaf pan so after that as my cake was cooling down i went ahead to make my coating my icing or my sugar coating so i just added some icing sugar or confectioner sugar into a bowl and to that i added some drops of freshly squeezed lemon juice okay so you have to be careful while adding the juice so you don't run this because you know it's just your icing sugar or your powder sugar so you have to be very careful And once you have gotten the right consistency, just as you see in the video, then we are ready to sprinkle or to spread this on a cold cake loaf. Make sure that your cake loaf is completely cool before you can sprinkle or spray this or spread this on it to avoid a <laughs> story that touches the heart. Okay? So make sure you spread this completely to cover the, the top of the cake. Okay. And once that is done, you can then have some dash of lemon zest all over the top of this cake. Like you just, you know, sprinkle it. Although it's optional, but you may choose to just give that kind of, you know, attraction to your cake. You know, do those things that can make your cake attractive, okay? And once it is cooled, everything is there, your cake loaf is ready. You can see how delicious this looks. Oh my God. Don't tell me that you're not going to try out this recipe because I'll be waiting to reply your comment in the comment section how it turned out for you when you try it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.